Hey, congrats. You got accepted to med school. Nice. So now that you're in, how do you succeed? They say that learning in med school is like drinking from a fire hose. In other words, it can be overwhelming. But don't worry, because there are four basic ways to make sure that you're in control. You can work on your study skills, create healthy habits, manage your money, and avoid getting overloaded with your options. Let's start with the study skills. In short, how you study is just as important as what you study. You might have made it through college by cramming the night before a test, but that's not going to get you through med school successfully. Unlike different subjects in undergrad, in med school the information builds on itself, meaning that just because you finish a class, you can't forget what you learned. So there are some proven learning strategies that you should take advantage of, like interleaving, where you mix up the order of what you learn, as well as spaced repetition, where you study material over different periods of time depending on how well you know the information. Both of these strategies help you retain information and maximize the effectiveness of your study time. It so happens that the Osmosis Learning Platform incorporates these strategies to make them an automatic part of how you study. Now, in addition, some students love studying in groups initially and then splitting off to work alone, whereas others like to do the opposite. The key here is to figure out what works for each class and be willing to experiment until you feel like you have an approach that works. All right, so next you should make sure you develop healthy habits. Days will get busy when you're in med school, so it's important to get plenty of sleep, exercise, and eat healthy food to keep you performing at your best. Also, you can't study all the time and not expect to burn out. So make sure you have a support system that you can turn to for help when you need a break. Spending time with friends and family, talking to a trusted mentor, or getting outdoors are great ways to reduce stress and can help recharge those batteries. Now, it's impossible to talk about med school without discussing money management. Unfortunately, the costs do add up quickly. Tuition, housing, textbooks, medical tools, board exams, and all the other costs of day-to-day -day living. The median debt of a U.S. med student after graduation is close to $200,000. Every dollar you take out now, you'll have to pay back with interest later. So be savvy about your spending. Look for ways to reduce your expenses, like living with a roommate, or choosing more affordable housing and cooking at home. The bottom line is that every dollar counts. Finally, it's easy to get overloaded by options. You might be tempted to immediately dive into a lot of different activities, like research, advocacy work, clinical work, sports, or community service. It's really hard to fit everything in. So don't be afraid to take your time and figure out what really matters to you. And don't feel bad about saying no to someone or something, even if it seems really rewarding. Your time is precious and you should save it for the things that you value most. So congrats again on your acceptance to med school. But as you prepare, just remember to think about your study skills, forming healthy habits, money management, and avoiding option overload and you'll have an awesome first year.